powerful accelerator based in Cambridge, John has come to Romania to present the benefits of the Springboard program to Bucharest and to Michelle entrepreneurs. Hi, John. Hi. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit more about Springboard and what it is and how it can benefit entrepreneurs? Cool. Um, so Springboard is a, um, a clone, a shameless rip-off of Techstars or Y Combinator in the US. Um, it's a 13-week full-time uh, intensive bootcamp program uh, based uh, in the heart of Cambridge, Cambridge University itself. Um, the key ingredients are we provide the teams with very small sums of money so that they can survive for the duration of the program. Uh, which is £5,000 per founder. Um, and in addition to that, we provide them with the office accommodation necessary for them to kind of do the bits and pieces. But the magic ingredient is actually we use experienced entrepreneurs and venture capitalists to help uh, mentor the teams themselves for the 13 weeks. Um, and, and I personally believe that in an early stage in the life of a business, the um, provision or trying to give people advice from the right people um, is actually fundamentally more valuable than just writing a bigger check. Um, there is a point in the system when money becomes important but at that early stage trying to establish what your business model is um, I think is much much more interesting. Was there also a previous version of the Spring Springboard program last year? Um, so some... Yeah, so what practically happened was I historically ran a program called The Difference Engine. Yeah. Um, and it was funded initially by the whole by public sector. Um, because it was considered to be successful, successful being five of my nine teams that took part in that program went on to raise other funds. And what did you think about the business startups you met today? Um, and the ones you met yesterday, sure. um, as I always am, I was really impressed. Um, I kind of met a wide variety of teams, um, from people who had really early ideas um, and were on the cusp of starting, um, none of which were stupid, uh, through to teams which were actually uh, building stuff are, are actually profitable. Um, and in those instances, uh, what was really interesting was they would be uh, profitable with kind of three or six hundred customers. And where what really becomes interesting is when can you take those teams from six hundred customers to six thousand? Um, suddenly, it becomes exceptionally profitable, uh, and and that's kind of where we can help.